In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between a saturated solution, an unsaturated solution, and a supersaturated solution. Before defining these three different types of solutions, I have to define solubility. Solubility is the maximum amount of a solute that can dissolve in a solvent, and this is a number that depends on temperature. The temperature of the solvent is what dictates the maximum amount of solute that can be dissol dissolved. Just in case you're not familiar with the difference between a solute and a solvent, the solute is the component in our solution that is present in the lesser quantity, and the solvent is the thing that we have the most of that's present in the greatest quantity. Let's begin by defining and drawing a picture of a saturated solution. A saturated solution is defined as one that has the maximum amount of solute per solvent. So based on the solubility of the solvent, and depending on what temperature it is, a saturated solution contains the maximum amount of solute. Let's say in this beaker we want to draw, let's represent a solution that has a solubility of one mole per liter. So I'm just going to kind of write this down as a reminder. No, let's make it five moles per liter. Let's make it more interesting. Let's say that we have a solution with a solubility of five moles per liter. And let's say that this beaker contains one liter of our solvent. If this solution is saturated, that means that the solution contains exactly five moles in this one liter of solvent. That is the maximum amount of solute that could be dissolved. Let's represent those five moles by just drawing five circles. Each circle represents a mole of whatever our solute is. So I'm just gonna put five moles of, of solute floating around in there. We would not be able to see the sol solute inside this solvent, um, but I'm just trying to represent that it's all dissolved. So every circle in this diagram represents one mole. And this is a saturated solution. Again, the saturated solution has the maximum amount of solute dissolved in that particular volume of solvent. An unsaturated solution is one that has uh, less than the max amount of solvent, solute. So if we are representing the same solution in this beaker, a solution that has a solubility of five moles per liter, if we wanted to represent an unsaturated solution in this beaker, we would just need to draw less than five moles. Maybe there's two moles in there, or maybe there's three. Anything less than five moles inside this beaker, the solution is going to be unsaturated. A supersaturated solution is one that has more than what we would call the maximum, I'm going to put that in quotation marks, more than the maximum amount of solute. So again, sticking with the same pattern, we have one liter in this particular beaker. Our solubility is five moles per liter. So a supersaturated solution of this particular substance, maybe it contains uh, seven moles of solute dissolved. You might be wondering how this is even possible. If the maximum is five, then how did we manage to get seven in there? Um, we can create supersaturated solutions by adjusting the temperature of the solvent. So for most solutes, as the temperature increases, the amount of solute that can be dissolved also increases. So one way we can make a supersaturated solution is heat the solvent up, which allows us to dissolve, in this case, seven moles of our solute instead of five. And then if we very carefully and slowly cool the solvent back down, sometimes all of that solute will stay dissolved. This is a pretty rare situation. It doesn't happen all the time, but when it does happen, we give a name to it and we call it supersaturated. One thing that can help us identify a saturated, unsaturated, and supersaturated solution, because we, we really can't see what's going on in these solutions, one way that we can identify these solutions from each other is to just to try to add more solute. So let's say in our, super satur or in our saturated solution, we tried to add a couple more moles of solute to this solution. Because this solution is already completely saturated, it has the maximum amount of solute that's already been dissolved. If we add more to this beaker, that extra solute that we add is just gonna settle down to the bottom of the beaker and just hang out as a solid. It will not dissolve because the solution already has the maximum amount. 
If we have an unsaturated solution and we add a couple extra moles to the unsaturated solution, because the solution is not saturated, those extra moles that we add will dissolve as long as we don't try to exceed the solubility. For a supersaturated solution, if we add extra moles into this solution, those moles are gonna settle down on the bottom, they're not gonna dissolve, and typically the addition of these extra uh, solute molecules will cause some of the extra um, dissolved solute molecules to settle down out of solution as well.